Queen bees are probably the most important. They are absolutely vital to a hive. The queen bee is the only bee that can reproduce in a hive. So she's the one that lays the eggs and really grows the hive and helps it to survive. So without her, that colony would be nothing. Unfortunately, there are circumstances where the queen dies off or she just can't produce the way that she used to produce. And so beekeepers do sometimes rely on queen bee breeders to provide great quality queens into their hives. And often they don't live in close proximity. So we do need to be able to transport queen bees between the breeder and the beekeeper. Getting from A to B for queen bees has traditionally involved travelling via post. But if you've ever waited too long for a parcel, you'll understand the issue facing queen bee breeders and beekeepers. Whilst the postal system is great, there are definitely a few challenges that that route does face. So there is a bit of congestion at different times of the year, which means that the bees are in transit for longer. They can often suffer from things like dehydration or suffer from heat. Uh, and so we need to make sure that they do get transitioned in comfort so that they survive. When we heard about the challenges that the bee industry was facing with regards to transporting queen bees, we had an idea and Bee Honey enlisted the help of Silver Top Taxi to bring it to life. So the Queen Bee Chariot is exactly as it sounds. It is a regal transport service for queen bees. There are probably three main benefits of transporting by taxi. The first is that we can pick them up sooner. The second is that they get there a little bit quicker. And the third is that it can be air conditioned. So they are traveling in luxury and full comfort, which ensures their safety and security. One of the trips that we did was from Glen Rowan all the way to Terelgan. So it's about four and a half hours and clocks close to 400 kilometres. So you can imagine that these taxis uh, clocked up close to 1,000 kilometres over the trial trips that we did, but there's no distance too far to get the queen from the breeder to the new beehive. The driver that we worked with, his name was Chico, and he's worked for Silvertop for a really long time. And he said to us that he's transported many famous people before, but he's never transported royalty. We did our first trip where we transported the queen bee with what we call a nucleus colony. So that basically means that the queen bee is traveling not only in luxury, but she's got her own bees in tow in the back. Uh, so the bees did not have to play flagpole. It was a fairly expensive trip. It was about $830 for our, for our first trip. We're so pleased that we could transport 10 queen bees to new homes. We like to think of them as producing amazing honey and they're incredible at that, but really their pollinating ability is critical to our food security. So we've, we've got to protect them. So if it's not okay for humans, it's not okay for bees. And you know, we don't want to travel in hot conditions or in congestion or have lots of delays with our travel. So we don't want bees to have to go through that either.